Hello, I'm Tim Harris. This is Julie Harris, and this is Real Estate Coaching Radio. That's right. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Thanks again for popping by. Hit that like button, and don't forget to leave your comments and questions so we can get right back with you. We will. Thank you for continuing to make our podcast, Real Estate Coaching Radio, the number one listened to podcast for real estate professionals in at least the United States. And let us know what you think about this video. Leave your comments below. Thank you. Three, two, one, and we are back. And Julie, we left yesterday's podcast talking a lot about AI, AGI, and all the different uh, ways that AI is going to massively enhance even the average agent. And I love the fact that you guys were gravitating so much to that information. And it was at the very end of yesterday's show. So if you did not listen to that one yesterday, please do listen. And uh, yes, Julie and I are very, very much um, doing our best to stay on the leading edge of everything that's going to be happening in AI as it affects you. But I'm going to share with you, I'm going to foreshadow what your future is going to be. Just paint a picture Mm -hmm. because it goes hand in hand with what this topic of this week is uh, of our show for at least uh, the first three days, which is the topic is focusing on helping you guys go from chaos to calm in your real estate businesses. But really what we're sort of trying to trick you into realizing is that you need to focus on fewer things, not on more things. And that's the reason, frankly, I'm so geeked up about AI and let alone AGI, because it's going to enable you to do just that. It's not going to be, well, I need this program. I need that program. I need this subscription. I need that subscription. I'm, I, the whole paradigm of how we interact with technology and technology providers is going to completely be changed. And I'm going to give you guys an example. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm talking about AI. It's okay. But I'm you warned give, them. All right. I'm going to give a quick example and let's get to point number five uh, thereafter. You are, how many of you love, love, love to do, um, let me think of something. Okay. Well, we left off yesterday with this, so I'll pick up where we left off. Love to do property videos. You don't. Nobody likes to do them. They take a lot of time. It costs a lot of money. There's a lot of added hassle. This seller is going to have the opinion on this or the other thing. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to do a lot of work. A lot of work goes into it. A lot of expense goes into it. And what a lot of us are left doing is hiring somebody to charge you an extortionist fee to create the video for you. And then guess what? You produce it and the seller doesn't like it, right? Right. (laughs) Or by the way, you produce it. The house would have sold anyway. And you didn't even need to make the video in the first place, but there goes your 2500 bucks or whatever. So many agents have normalized, especially our luxury agents, have normalized spending gobs of money on stuff just to placate the seller. If you've not been in the real estate business for very long, which is true for probably half of you, I have a little secret for you. The secret to selling real estate, is, and this is true in no matter what the market is, is price, condition, and location. If you have a good location, you have a good price, and you have a good uh, condition, the house will sell without anything other than it just being in the MLS. Sorry, boo hiss. I know a lot of you believe it's supposed to be more complicated than that. Reference yesterday's podcast and ask yourself why you think, think why you want things to be more complicated than they actually have to be. But here is the beauty of AI. So here's the disadvantage to it. Everyone's going to be able to easily use it. Everybody. You know, the agent who just got their license and the agent who's been licensed since, you know, their license number is number 0001. You know, they've been licensed since the Stone Age. Everyone's going to be able to use it. Everyone's going to be able to interface with it. And for the most part, it's going to be seamless, right? So there's one thing. So the use of technology is not going to give you an advantage in the marketplace anymore. All of you who are thinking that you missed the opportunity to become, you know, to create a bunch of, you know, social content. Well, guess what? In this case, waiting has worked for you or maybe you're a new agent because AI is going to be able to create mountains of uh, media content for you to the point that a lot of the YouTubers and all these other people that may be in your marketplace have created a lot of content. You look at all the content they've created about your community. You think, how will I ever catch up? Well, here's the bottom line. Right now, um, I should say more realistically, within 30 days or less, all of you are going to be able to use AI to start creating a tsunami of content. And here's how you're gonna. Here's how it's gonna work. You're gonna go to AI. You're not gonna have to go through a provider. You're not gonna have to go through a merchant or a vendor or anybody else. You're not gonna have to respond to an email or anything that's going to require you getting out a credit card number. You're gonna go to ChatGPT4 or one of the competing AIs and you're going to say, I want you to create for me a 12 month YouTube campaign that focuses on my community of, you know, Julie and I was Worthington, Ohio. Focus on the schools, focus on, you know, current events, focus on the weather, focus on real estate trends, interest rates, the whole thing. And let it go crazy and just hit enter. 
And then what it's going to do is it's going to create a whole bunch of topics for you. And then what you're going to say is, okay, now I want you to create um, a script for every one of these things. And, you know, again, every, these are individual videos. Each video is, shouldn't be any more than maybe, you know, three minutes long or whatever. Great. Now it's going to create the script. Now, and this is what's going to happen, isn't available yet, but will be available soon. I've already seen people testing this. You're now then going to be able to wait for it, wait for it. Have a real honest to God, could be your voice or an AI voice that's indistinguishable from a human voice. By the way, how do you know this is an AI that you're listening to now? Could be. It could be. <laughs> yes. So then it's going to read the script that it wrote about the topic it chose. And then it's going to read the script where it's talking just as if it were a human. It's not going to sound fake at all. Um, and then, okay, wow, that is a podcast. You've now created a three-minute podcast about why you're, you know, Worthington, Ohio schools are the best schools or whatever, whatever, or the attributes of that elementary school. You guys get the point. You can even have this thing start creating for you uh, daily updates of what's going on in the community and start releasing those. Uh, some of you guys uh, maybe listen to Morning Wire every day, things like that. So you could release a little three to five minute podcast every day, you know, Worthington, Ohio today or whatever. You think of your own name. And then the AI, so let, let me get back to the content creation part. So then the AI is then going to write, come up with the topics, write the script, record the audio for you using its script that it wrote, and then it's going to wait for it. Oh yeah, you read my mind, create videos for you. And the videos, and this is what blows my mind, the videos are, again, like the audio, indistinguishable. <laughs> if you don't believe me, guys, go over to YouTube and start putting an AI avatar AI, just start messing around with different search terms and you'll see all the amazing things that you are able to now utilize, but will soon be able to seamlessly utilize. So the, you know, 90 year old agent who never wants to create social media is going to be able to sit down and create a never ending supply of really seamless social media content. And if you want it to be your face, your voice, it'll do the same thing. Again, go to YouTube, look at the videos that are being created, and you can see, like, people will, it, you won't know whether or not you're watching a video of an AI human or a real human. It will be somebody that looks like you and sounds like you and talks like you, says what you say, but it will be AI that you were able to completely uh, create uh, and uh, basically seamlessly just pump out social media forever. Now, Let's go back to how you're going to use this for creating content for your new listings. You're going to take a new listing. The AI is going to know you have a new listing. It's going to essentially launch, to use an old school word, a marketing campaign for it. It's going to then maybe create a script talking about the great house. It's going to you know, talk about the neighborhood. It's then going to create an audio file along with a video, along with a virtual tour. How are you going to create a virtual tour? Because most houses already have existing virtual tours sitting on some server somewhere, or it can use Google Earth. You guys, are your minds going crazy with all this? Where does all this go? The leveling of the playing field is here, and you're going to soon have the ac access to the world's best assistants that never complain, never ask, ask for a raise, and that the best agents in the world can use. The best marketing in the world. Oh, you're worried that you're, you know, how, Tim, how are we going to create an original video? The thing does it for you. I watched something last night on YouTube in AI where it was like a walking tour around Tuscany or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I watched this thing. It was in perfect 4K, whatever the resolution was. It was perfect. It was two people talking as if one of them was holding an iPhone walking around. And then after I watched this damn thing, then they pulled the rug under me, uh, out from underneath me and told me the whole thing was synthesized. The whole thing was done with AI. The voices, the script, the walking tour, the whole thing was made. So if you're worried, well, how is all my – and all this is original – because the AI, when it produces for you, is going to be your original content. You know, it's extraordinary what's going to happen in a very short order, it, what already has in a very short order. Do not be pessimistic or thinking that somehow you're going to be obsoleted from all this. The distant remediation thing that so many people worry about with real estate agents is never going to happen because caring, competent, skilled professionals will always be needed. But where the strength is going to lie is your ability to have meaningful, direct, human-to-human -human conversations because that's something that so few agents will want to do, let alone have the skill set to do because AI is going to make them immensely more lazy than they already are. Not just agents, but everyone, you know, the planet Earth. So if you have the ability to have conversations and connect with people. And I, I'll, I'm going to say this too. Mm -hmm. So our daughter's nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she and her generation, her ilk, 
right? Mm -hmm. They're going to be at the greatest disadvantage for ever learning how to have meaningful conversations. I believe that's true. You and I, yeah. at our age, mm -hmm. it, actually, we have we're growing up. We have this little. It's weird. Mm -hmm. We now we grew up during the advent and the creation and the scaling up of the internet, and now we're going to do the same thing with AI. But before all that started, mm -hmm. you and I weren't so. We were in our like mid twenties when public uh, internet finally came around, and there, you know, all the rest. You could finally buy your own URL, like Tim and Julie Harris is from nineteen ninety seven. That's when we bought that URL. But we grew up when there was no internet. Right. Then the internet came around. Then we learned how to, you know, utilize it and use it, and we grew with it. And now AI is going to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. So we're not – we're at a perfect point because we have the history of having those divert – that now younger people, they're only going to come up in a, mm -hmm. during a time of digital. So they're not going to learn how to have meaningful right. conversations. They might not – I mean, you remember all the studies that came out after COVID where they're saying kids have lost the ability to basically read Facial faces because of masks and whatnot? That's right. uh -huh. That same thing's going to happen with voice yes. to voice. Well, I read – somebody was writing about the fact that – and I can't remember the exact age they put on it, but it was something like – if you're 40 or older, you are seen as a digital tourist because we have this background of what the kids now call IRL in real life. But we, we sort of go on sorties into this technology and we learn it and, and we have one foot in each world, right? We don't do everything paperless. We still have things like journals and planners and things like that. But that, that people who are younger than that and certainly the youngest generation are natives to this type versus a tourist. Yeah. And I thought that was a really good analogy. And I see that with how she communicates with her friends. Like they have to actually tell each other if they're making a play date, is it online or is it in real life? You know, because they're used to talking to each other and FaceTime, they're used to, uh, now they're creating this whole thing, I forget what it's called, they're, they're making pictures, they're taking like art that exists already and they've already, these kids, nobody's taught them this, they figured this out from apps on their own. They figured out how to replace their image, like on a movie poster, on something that they really like that they watched, like digital art. Well, so do you know Beyonce? There's a very famous, I think it's French or Italian designer, Beyonce, Bal Bal I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, they did this big- Balenciaga. Huge, that, thank you. There you go. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> so there was, they just that. did, and this is on YouTube. You guys should Google that. What's it called again? Say it Balenciaga? Twice. Yeah. So there is, they did a big, huge um, fashion show. I don't really care about any of it. I'm just telling you for the sake of what I'm about to tell you. So somebody downloaded this video and was able to take the Balenciaga, whatever Balenciaga. she said. Balenciaga. <laughs> and then have the AI- superimpose the faces of all their friends oh, on yeah. all the models but then they also then use the faces of famous people so there's this really hilarious uh video online of like the pope strutting his stuff wearing the latest fashion from turin or whatever it's from mm -hmm. you know i thought you know creative anyway. though right yeah but definitely so look be optimistic don't be pessimistic julie without any <laughs> additional that was an interesting intro to this one. Right. I know. Okay. Well, good luck with the bridge here. I know. Yeah. All right. So meanwhile, back in real life, you might be <laughs> IRL. feeling, IRL, you might be feeling stressed. You might be feeling overwhelmed. This is part two of how to turn your stress into success, how to turn your chaos into calm. And this is part two, point number five. Now, meanwhile, while we wait for AI to make our lives easier, better, and more efficient for less money... You might want to take a little break from posting on social media with a few exceptions. Again, we're trying to get you back in control. Let it go. Mostly, you should post your upcoming, your soon upcoming listings, your just launched listings, post your client testimonials, as well as your wanted postings looking for inventory for your own buyers. But if it's not directly connected to those items, you can let those posts go for a while while you let the dust settle and get back in control of your time. Remember you don't have to spend hours searching for content. And again, we've talked about how to fix that with AI in the future. Right. Remember the theme of uh, these three series, this you know, three-part series is basically how to go to chaos to calm. Yep. Uh, I know maybe I just firehose you guys with a bunch of AI chaos. Set that aside. Focus on the fact that if you're feeling like you need to go back to calm, Julie's point number five there is really salient. Make sure you're not spending too much time on social media because that really is just a narcissism trap at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And it's a huge time suck. Well, so if you're going to post, it should be related to the actual work you're doing in real life, in real estate. Like you have a new listing coming up. Of course, you want to highlight that and post that on your social media. Maybe you just got two or three great video client testimonials. That's something you should post. But again, it's related and relevant to the actual work you're doing so that people will see you as the expert that you're trying to be seen as. 
don't while away your time trying to, you know, outsmart that social media mousetrap when you should be instead doing point number six. Well, you know, you just said something, and this is what you and I've been I, really as much as we could letting people be self-aware. Do not build your mansion on land you not, do not own. Julie and I were thinking about moving our podcast over to Substack, and there's a couple others that are similar to it. Without going into a great deal of explanation, the reason we didn't do it is because we won't be able to control, Substack could go out of business. So it's essentially turning the podcast into a subscription where you guys would pay like $7 a month or whatever. But what happens if Substack goes out of business? What happens if, you know, essentially all of our past podcasts, we don't have easily, readily acceptable access to it, the rest of it. And so this is what's going to happen on the social media front too. You can already see it happening. The TikTok thing, like it or not, is going to basically be made in some version of uh, not legal in the United States. Social media itself, as far as those of you who have invested countless hours, I want you, and you're doing it because you wanted to be unique. You were doing it because you wanted to differentiate yourself. You were doing it because you wanted the world to see you as a real estate expert. I get all that, but here's the challenge. We just described to you a very realistic scenario of in the very near future, what's going to happen where everybody's able to do exactly what you did. Maybe you're even going to tell the AI, don't worry, I won't go on that soapbox again, but maybe you're even going to tell the AI to go on to YouTube and find out who the top YouTube real estate agents are in your particular marketplace, transcribe all their content, write original content around their uh, most viewed videos, write original uh, titles, then essentially, as I described before, essentially assembly line out the production of new videos. Now, all of your great videos are gonna be competing against 100 other videos that YouTube sees as equally as valuable. Age does not give you, the age, the, the older your content is on um, go, uh, YouTube, Generally speaking, the easier it is to have essentially to lose that top search position because YouTube gives preference to newer content. Fresh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. different than what a lot of you have been mentally conditioned to think from Google and from SEO and the rest of it. Yes. Well, the world is changing, isn't it? So, all right. So point number six, lead with proactive lead generation. Every day you are either self-employed or self-unemployed based on the actions you take. The things that agents avoid the most are the same things that are most efficient and most profitable. Proactive lead generation is your number one job because without it, nothing else happens. You'll have no leads to follow up on, no presentations, no deals to negotiate, and no closings. A little spin on yesterday's point, right? Yeah. But to lead with proactive lead generation. We're talking about what to keep and what to cut loose when you're feeling overwhelmed. Well, now, but, the, but the, Julie, this always goes back. I mean, this point and all these other sort of technologically enhanced ideas that are coming around the bend. Um, it is so incredibly important that you never ever forget what humans want more than anything is real contact. And there was an interesting thing that um, I stumbled across. I think you and I maybe listened to a podcast about it. The people reporting feeling lonely, especially younger people, is higher than it's ever been before. Yes. Despite the fact that, that people too. are so socially connected, it's because being socially connected is, oh, we heard it on Bill Maher, mm -hmm. because being socially connected is not the same as actually talking to a human face to face. It, it turns out that a simulation is, you know, a simulation, it's not the same. And there's a whole generation of people, again, that are going to be plagued with this constant omnipresent sense of loneliness because no one has told them what I just told you guys, but many of you who are of the age, you already know what I'm saying is true. But if you think you're going to be at a disadvantage because of your age, the exact opposite is true. You're going to be more relevant because of your age because, unfortunately, if the younger folks are over-reliant on the technology, they're not going to develop your skill set because they're going to think that they can yeah. shortcut it and have the AI have the conversations for them. Yeah, see, I was having this thought when you were talking about how they can create all of this great content. Well, you, you basically have a content creation assistant that you don't even have to pay to do all of this work for you. Okay, so let's say that we fast forward, all that's happening, and my AI has made this amazing series of videos. It's talking about how great I am as an agent. Maybe there's videos about my listings. And and I, not understanding your point that you just made, the importance of face-to-face -face skilled contact, I then either try to delegate everything to AI, you just go take that listing, or go negotiate that deal for me, or I show up and I'm not actually as good as my AI, that's where the skilled, that's going to be the danger, right? But Julie, that's what's happening. That's yeah. what's happened really in earnest over the last mm -hmm. really 20 years. You have had agents 
that have uh, essentially delegated too many things, not held the things they delegated those things out of touch. They've abdicated, not just delegated. You have a whole you know range of agents that have never developed any real skill set, and they've maybe been very successful, ultra successful, but they now are running businesses that are barely profitable because they have been buying their business. Yep. They've not ever actually learned how to have you know do the actual work. The actual work is what's going to differentiate you now, forever, and in, certainly into the future. Everyone else is going to run to the easy button. The new easy button for agents and everyone else is going to be using the AI. You do the exact opposite, and that's where you're going to find your true differentiation. Yes. And after all, the answer to all stress in real estate is this. Take a new listing. Do do it immediately. Your financial, emotional, and spiritual well-being all depend on this when you're earning your living in this business. All good things come from listings. This is what we coach our coaching clients to do. Lead with listings. So point number seven, again, we're talking about what you can let go of and what you need to hold on to when you're feeling overwhelmed to get you back into control. Point number seven, stop pursuing less than motivated or non-responsive leads. Let them go. If you've been doing a good job with your lead follow-up before you lost control of your schedule and those, quote, leads just aren't responding, chances are they're not real leads anyway. Here's the thing that we we do in coaching, and then I have a little explanation in a second. So real buyers are responsive. They call you as soon as they see the right house. They update you about their financing, and they send you the listings they've seen online so they can go get a real showing. Real sellers are also responsive and easy to schedule a listing appointment with. They're cleaning, they're packing, they're staging their home. If your leads, as you call them, are not acting like this, they are not ready to transact. What's the boats thing, right? Just I mean, say where, next. Yes. Right. So this is. Some, I'll tell this story as quickly as I can. I yes. love to embellish it. I told this story last week. A lot of you loved it, so I'll repeat it again. Let's see if I can add let's some see more. This version. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. So you guys are. We, okay. Ooh, I just thought of an enhancement. So we are now in the North Atlantic. We are all. It's it's back when the Titanic went down. Uh, and unfortunately, we, as in Julie and I, have were one of the only people that were able to grab this massive lifeboat. And in this lifeboat is enough room for every single one of you. In addition to that, there's warm blankets, there's food, there's all kinds of, you know, everything you could possibly need so that we can basically all stay alive until someone comes and saves us or we can basically go to wherever we need to go to be alive and, you know, live and well, right? So you get the point. You want to be in this boat. Right? So North Atlantic, the waters are incredibly cold. The waters are still. The stars are lighting uh, lighting the horizon. And all we see around us as we're standing in this boat, all we see everywhere we look are just humans in the water. And it's sad. And we're trying to save all of them. There are no waves. There's no wind. All there is is cold and the bright stars. It's the middle of the night. They're illuminating so we can see these little heads bobbing in the water all around us. And Julie and I are shouting at the top of our voices, Come swim towards us. Swim towards us. We will save you. Plenty of room in this boat. We have warm everything. You will not have to worry about freezing to death or being eaten by a shark, which, by the way, that is something that unfortunately happened, but you guys study your own history. Yes, so moral of the story is we are here in our boat. We want to save you. Come swim towards us. And so what we see in the water, there's three groups of people. And you got to remember this because if you remember this, I promise you it's going to save you An enormous amount of stress, not just in real estate, but in your life. So here are the three groups of people. We see people that are swimming away from us. And those are people that are, you know, they can still hear us. Because when we shout to them, we see them looking over their shoulders. And we can hear their voices. And they're saying, I'm good. I'm going to find my own boat. I'm going to find an island. I'm going to go my own. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to, I'm good. I'm swimming away. I'm fine. We see their hand waving at us way off into the distance as they swim further and further away. And there's not one of them. There's a lot of them. And they're swimming away. Okay, you're good. See you later. And then there's, see, there's people in the middle. You know, those people are right off the horizon. And there's people in the middle. People in the middle are swimming in circles. And sometimes small circles, sometimes big circles, but circles. By the way, most of you are swir- circle swimmers if you really are honest with yourselves. And so what you're doing is you're swimming in circles. You can hear our voice. Come get in my boat. This boat's going to save you. You can get to the shore. We can you know, live to survive. We can get through this. And what are you doing? 
you know, you're trying to decide as you go in a circle, should I swim out to sea? Should I swim towards the boat? Out to sea, blah, blah, blah. You're constantly going back, getting ready to get started. I'm looking for a more com uh, complicated explanation as to what direction I should be swimming because obviously the damn boat in front of me isn't enough of re – that's not the obvious answer. I need to make some real complicated, you know, overly difficult 14-stage drip campaign and basically how I'm going to find my own boat someplace out in the middle of the North Atlantic. You I'm guys going to take a survey on Facebook about where the best <laughs> boats are. <laughs> exactly. All right. So these are there's people that are swimming in circles. Three. One of three things happens to the people that are swimming in circles. They indeed will choose to swim out to sea. God knows what happens to them. God bless them. They will uh, swim towards us and actually swim towards the boat so we can save them. Or what's going to happen is they're going to run out of energy and they're going to swim uh, to the point where they have no more energy and then they're going to sink to the bottom. That is what happens when agents fail out of the business and, let, and people frankly fail in differing levels out of life in general. They never make their decision which direction they're going to swim. They swim in circles their entire life. They never actually follow through. They never actually commit to anything. Getting ready to get started over and over and over and over again. They run out of energy and then they eventually, uh, so, you know, that's what happens. Be honest with yourselves, listeners. A lot of you are like that. You're going from one thing to another, to another, to another. Stop doing that. You're wasting time. Because right if you just were to, you know, veer towards the boat, Julie and I, are now saving people. There are people we're pulling up under the boat. Now it's not just Julie and I shouting for people to get into the boat. It's hundreds and assume thousands of people. It's a big damn boat. Did I mention that? <laughs> They're all going to be trying to save as many people as possible. And you now have to make a decision. Are you going to swim towards the boat? Are you going to keep swimming in circles? Are you going to swim out to sea? So here's the mistake that a lot of people make. What they do, salespeople in, in, in general, is they spend all of their time trying to save the people that are swimming away or they save, spend then a majority of their time trying to get the people that are swimming in circles. That's what you guys are doing. Just try to swim towards you and you're ignoring the ones that are right in front of you that want to get in your boat. You're being lied to into believing that you're supposed to be maturing nature and uh, nurturing. nurturing, thank you, the people that are swimming away and swimming in circles. No, don't do that, listeners, because guess what? Long-term lead follow-up campaigns have been proven countless times to be, in essence, a complete waste of time, and yet you still believe it. Why? Because you don't have enough people swimming towards your boat because you're not doing the work necessary to get people to actually swim towards your boat, because you're not calling the people that have their hands in their air right now the actual sellers in your actual community that actually want to sell their homes, you're spending all of your time branding, marketing, mailing, dripping, whatever the hell else you're doing, and you're not spending your time going for the people that are actually right in front of you right now. I'll prove it to you in a very relevant, practical way. If you were to go to your MLS right now, and you should do this, and if you don't know how to do this search, figure it out, and you were to do a search for how many expired listings there are in your marketplace in the last 30 days, Guess the number, write it down. 60, 90 days. Now go back 12 months. Now, go do that search right now. Oh, no, you're not just going to search in a tiny little five-mile radius of your house or your office. I want you to search your entire MLS so you really have an idea of what you're doing. You'll discover thousands, thousands of homes just in expired listings. We're not talking about notice defaults. We're not talking about probate. We're not talking about all the other sources of listing leads we teach you guys how to go after. Thousands of just expireds are going to be in your MLS. If you're in some markets, San Francisco, it's going to be way the hell more than that. You go back 12 months, it's probably over 10,000. Do the search, you'll discover. And yet, you believe you have to market and brand. You have believe you have to create a bunch of YouTube videos. But right in front of your boat with hands up in the air are people that say, yes, save me. You guys get it? Now, think of your own business that way. Think of where you're spending your time. Why aren't you looking down to the people that have their hands in the air right in front of your boat and why don't you grab hold of them and pull them in? Why? Why are you making it so damn hard on yourself? I don't understand. Do you? Uh, exactly. That's just probably your best boat analogy yet. Oh, I'll get it better. We'll probably tell it again <laughs> next week. Well, you know, um, Brian Tracy said, your greatest asset is your earning ability. Do you guys think about that as an asset? Your greatest asset is your earning ability. Your greatest resource is your time. So to circle back to your boat analogy, stop spending your time on the people. In this case, this came from point number seven. Stop pursuing less than motivated or non-responsive leads. 
Stop spending all of your time believing that if you just drip on them more, if you just call them one more time, even though you've left 16 messages. The circle swimmers, they don't want to get in your damn boat. They just want to, they want to They're not ready. They're not, you cannot motivate the unmotivated. You cannot get a seller uh, that is not, you know, a seller doesn't. You can't magically motivate them. No. You're just not going to. There's no amount of dripping that's going to somehow magically get a buyer who's not able to buy, to buy a house. Does not happen. That's one of the great lies that have always yes. been percolating in real estate. Well, I did make note, this is an especially hard lesson for new agents or newer agents who don't have the experience to know the difference between buyers who actually buy and sellers who actually list. Whether you're new, newer, or experienced, using buyer and seller pre-qualification scripts are going to cure a lot of this issue. But that circles right back to having to actually speak to the lead. Right. You're not going to be able to delegate that to AI. You're going to have, but this is what gives you the unfair advantage in the marketplace. Be excited about the fact that people are always going to lean into lazy and they're going to try to delegate and they're going to abdicate and they're not going to get the results because they're going to be just like everybody else. Except you guys. Except you guys. Hopefully all of you. Okay. So point number eight, your fitness and nutri- nutrition routine cannot suffer when you're busy. I would say this is probably second only to stopping the lead generation. This always gets dropped. So change it instead of skipping it. If you can't find time in your for your normal workout at the gym, replace it with Saturday morning workout or a nighttime yoga class. Don't delete, just modify. You need your energy and it's a great place also to, guess what, find new leads. It's also a great way to work off the stress that you're feeling. Remember, we're trying to turn your stress into success. We talked about all that type of thing countless times in this past podcast. So Julie, let's round the bend. We can pick up tomorrow we left off today. Yep. Hopefully, I know we're entertaining you guys because you tell us so, right? But I really am focused on hoping that we're causing you guys to be incredibly optimistic. Julie and I are doing our best. We truly, we absolutely truthfully are doing our best to add a, you know, create a counterbalance to all the negative narratives that are out there. And you're just going to have to accept the fact that for whatever reason, most people are very attracted to sexy, negative, nasty news. Mm -hmm. Just prune that garbage from your lives. The best time on planet earth to be a human it hasn't even arrived yet, but you're going to be experiencing it, it over the next three to five years. There is a renaissance, which my gorgeous wife and I predicted would happen after COVID. If you listen to our past podcast, Julie and I predicted there was going to be a renaissance. We did not define what would initiate it. We did not say AI, but guess what? AI is going to create it. There is no doom and gloom on your horizon provided you tune your mind into being of service to other people and then backstop that with knowing you have the skill set to help them. That's what Premier Coaching is. Guys, there's links everywhere, obviously in show description and the notes, or you can just go to premiercoaching.com. You can join Premier Coaching right now, 100% for free. And yes, that does give you instant access um, yes, to all first level, a lot of the things we just talked about, but also guess what? A daily semi-private coaching call. So just go to premiercoaching.com. In the meantime, thank you for keeping this the number one listen to daily podcast for real estate professionals in at least the United States. Have a fantastic day. We'll talk with you on the show tomorrow. Hello. Thank you for having watched this video. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And don't forget to hit that like button, leave your comments and questions below, and we will get right back with you. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to watch the next one. You're going to love that one.